Esther is reluctant <laughs> to no, say no. anything. Hello to the Monday chaos, my friends. Oh, <laughs> Happy, Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy right by the moon Monday, friends. As you see, it's already going great. <laughs> things, things are you even look all the puppies, they all agree. Hi, everybody. How are you? How is your Monday so far? I mean, it's pretty much the end of the day. So how did your Monday go? But we still have a few hours left so we can still make it count. I'm going to go through real quick the comments before my lovely friends and co-hosts introduce themselves. As usual, we have Nick being awesome. As always, and yes, subscribe to everyone on screen. All of their info is down below. We have a cat paw. Hello. Did I get my days mixed up again? Or am I? Look at that. We're all, it's Monday. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got your day right. We have a Shannon in the house. Hello, Shannon. Good to see you. Michael C.B. Chen. Hello. Nice to see you too, friend. Good to see you. And this is super late for me, but I'm here for, for a little while until I knock out. I was going to say, I was like, this is not normally the time you're normally going to bed like soon. Everyone saying hello to everybody. Hello, oh, Joanne. So, you know, just be aware. What happened? Huh? I changed my headline. Oh, you did? <laughs> Good. I changed see. mine too, but for <laughs> promo purposes. So. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm pretty tired, but trying to push a few more words in. Oh, okay. Esther saying evening. <laughs> Is it Monday still? Honestly, do we do any of us know? No. It that's that's Monday for you. Hello, cool gamer. Good to see you. Jess. Hey Jess. Hi, Jess. Good to see you too. Hope you're having a good Monday. And we have a Diane. Hello, friend. Good to see you. So as usual, we're going to have my lovely co-host for anyone who's new here and doesn't know who they are. We're going to let them each say a little intro, give you a little insight into their wonderfulness. Yeah, I knew JC was going to try to disappear. Anyway. Read the, Read the headline. Read the headline. No spoiler, no intro. <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no. That is not okay. <laughs> that is not okay. <laughs> No, that has one thing has nothing to do with the other. <laughs> JC is mundane and very hard. <laughs> yes. No. Let's start with Nia. Oh, she's also Hi. Catholic. Hi, I'm Nia the Vixen of Fiction here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. Um, you can catch me tomorrow night at 7 p.m. because I do night write productivity sprints every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And this Sunday um, coming up, Scripting the Book is doing Hidden Figures. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, we do have a guest coming on to talk about Hidden Figures with us. So um, if you like adaptations, come hang out with us once a month. We do Scripting the Book. And at the end of the month, Esther and Des hang out with me for Author Tubers React, where we talk about things that are happening in the writing and British community. And I write stuff. I'm a mom of four and I'm a Loki mom and a fitness instructor and all kinds of things. JC, come on. <laughs> JC. Are you really not going to show up for my stream and do the thing? <laughs> Loki is not happy, JC. <laughs> Read the headline. Read the headline. <laughs> There's no headline right now. Anyway. Well, show the All right, Morgan, you I can. You can't go. spoil one stream. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. The author talk. So JC we Carpenter. shall follow in. Line. I am author JC Carpenter, <laughs> tonight's Mistress of Chaos. Um, <laughs> I have three books. Um, I have stuff on my channel. I, I'm eating dinner, so technically that is the reason why. I can't give an intro because I'm hungry. Okay. I'll give a better outro, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hey. My name is Morgan Lee. Um, every, uh, what am I saying? I stream on my <laughs> channel every other Monday at 8 a.m. Central Time. I have two books out right now. Uh, Seed Among the Thorns and Seed Among the Rocks and Seed Among the Ground will be out later this year. That's it. 
Hi, I'm Esther Morandoar. I'm a Puerto Rican writer, aspiring to be a hybrid author. I'm also the author of Marina the Vampire, which is a serialized paranormal romance, enemies to lovers, very slow burn. One uh, available through Kindle Vela, Coffee, and Patreon. Also, tomorrow, the Romance Writers Room, which is the spin of of the Writers Room, hosted by Morgan Lee, Tiffany Russell, and Barrett Laurie. It's going to happen tomorrow, Valentine's Day, at 1 p.m. ET in my channel. Same name, Esther Maria Duhar. Some of these lovely ladies will be there. If you want to know who exactly is going to be there, check out the video. Hit the notification button. All of that wonderful stuff YouTube wants you to do. <laughs> to participate uh also i already put on the community tabs and on my instagram the google forms if you are looking for help um from the romance writers room or if you want to be a guest co-host for the uh, romance writers room in the future so yeah that that's me Perfect. Friends, and I am Desiree M. Ortega. You're on my channel, Coffee Reading Writing, where I post weekly videos Wednesdays, and I stream every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Good to have you guys here. We have also an Amy who came in. Hello. And we have the other Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Not writing tonight, but using the sprint to finish packing for my move out. Well, happy moving. Good luck with all that, and I'm glad that we can accompany you while you're packing. Victoria's here. Hello. <laughs> Joanne's like, Loki. <laughs> we all recognize a little bark bark. And then everyone's saying hello to everyone. Very nice. Very nice. And Shannon says, I think I decided I'm done for the day. Stats six oh, wow. hours, 46 minutes. Oh, oh wow. You just showed time. up. Shannon. That's awesome. She's like, never <laughs> mind. It's bedtime. Shannon, round that up to seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do two lives? I think she had one in the morning, and then I saw a pop up yes. one, and I'm like, wait, yes. where are you live? Oh, a couple wow. hours ago? Very yeah. productive today. Very nice. Yeah. All right. No, you deserve your sleep and your rest for sure. <laughs> Diane says, I opened my Red Bubble store yesterday and I'm working on designs. I am playing with planner stickers. I am reading. I am working on my fiction novella and working on my Kofi page. All the things. All the things, friends. Do all the things. All right. Oh, <laughs> I didn't bring up any um timers. Anyway. Anyway, so well, I figure that out because it's Monday. Uh, what are we working on for this stream? So everyone go around and tell us what you're going to work on this stream. If you know, if you don't, that's okay. Um, I'm going to work on writing some uh, backstory in my world building process because it feels like it's going to be fun for me and it's Monday. So I deserve to do something fun. That and productive. Yes. Fun and productive. I agree. Um, aside from finishing my dinner this first sprint, um, I might spend the rest of the first sprint reading. <laughs> so you can figure out all the spoilers you want. <laughs> you know what? Just for that. Just for that. Why you had to rub it in? Just for that. <laughs> Yeah, what about you down there? What are you guys working on this stream? Um, I'll be working on, first I'll work on my video of my January wrap up. <laughs> That's really late, <laughs> but I'll be working on that first. So, yeah. I'll be working on finishing episode 27. Uh, I was aiming to finish it yesterday, but I got carried away by YouTube, did not finish it. Uh, so I'm going to finish it today so I can then spend the next couple of days on the holiday romance. Nice. Yeah. And I will be working on a um, ghostwriting project that I have. So I need to go through a lot of things to get that story put together. So I will be working on that. And... <laughs> Love you, JC. Victoria, I feel this. I feel this oh, old feeling a bit overwhelmed today. So I'm using these to get some random stuff done so it won't bother me anymore. I'm yeah. so sorry you're yep. feeling overwhelmed. I'm I'm feeling a little anxious and overwhelmed myself. I'm trying to just 
put it away and focus on one little thing at a time. And oh, let it go. Yes, like Elsa says, just mm -hmm. let it go. So that's what I'm working on. I Elsa. hope that we can distract you and if anyone's curious about how Esther does her project copying, she has a great video on that. Just, Ooh, so. just popping that out there. Just anyone. Oh, the project copying? Yeah. Oh. Pop over there and watch it. It's a bad Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catball says, uh, type up some handwritten notes, at least for the first spring. Very nice. <laughs> Sylvester, you showed up at eight, not midnight. There's a there's a little joke to that. But yes, thank you. I'm glad you're here and that YouTube isn't lying to you anymore and telling you that <laughs> the stream is at midnight today. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Uh, Diane says, I am deciding on my fiction name, Diane Nicole uh, Morasco or Diane Morasco. I I have the Spanish accent when I say it. I was going to, if, I, if how would you say it without a Spanish accent? Morasco? I don't know. I kind of yeah, like how you said it. Well, yeah, I like, like one. Used to. It'd be like Morasco. Yeah, it does, it's like, it's like, so I like one of ours. They're fine. Morasco. 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 I was going yes, to you have, you have your R's right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm doubting myself now. I was like, did no, I say that? I, I love when you're like, hey, darling, because you like really rolled the R. I'm like, <laughs> well, it depends. If you're looking for a more gender neutral name, if that matters to you, because some people it matters to, then I would go with D.N. Morasco. Mm -hmm. If you don't care, mm -hmm. then I would go with Diane Nicole. Yeah. Also, I depending would, on the genre. Yeah, too. I would go by if genre. A, yeah, if you're doing a lot of fantasy sci-fi, uh, Mia can attest to most people it are the the initials and a last name. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and if you're doing romancy stuff, that whole Diana Nicole Morasco is really it's nice. Um, yeah. I would save them both in case you decide to do both types of writing or multiple types of writing. Yes, I agree. Very, very true. That's what I, yeah, that's one of my little side things I have just in case. Different genre, different genre. Mm -hmm. Amy says, I may shower for our first sprint, but then I'll get to writing, promise. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be here with you. Pinky then, promise, Amy. Pinky, oh, pinky oh, promise, that's, Amy. That's, that's serious. That's <laughs> serious. And the project hopping video JC mentioned, there it is, friends. You guys go check that out if you want during the first sprint. And then Diane says, hubby is making me some double. Ooh. Ooh double double hot chocolate. chocolate. That's nice. nice and rich and decadent. Yeah, yummy. I like it. I like it. So and in, everyone's the course giving... of, in the course of this beginning of the stream, I think my plans have changed because Morgan reminded me that I have a video I need to edit if I'm going to post it on Thursday. I have a wrap up to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then this hot, this double hot chocolate is making me want hot chocolate. So scrap what I was gonna do. <laughs> I mean, the hot chocolate could give you some extra boost of you know this energy is true. to do the video editing. Uh -huh. Welcome, Jack. Hello, good to see Hello. you. How often and how long do your writing routines last? Are you saying, as in, like this, what we're doing right now? Right? Or um. The, this uh, writing sprints, we call them writing sprints. Um, I do them every week, uh, Mondays, 8 p.m. Eastern till 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so we usually do about half hour sprints of productivity where we're focusing on the task. And then we come back and we chat a little and then we do it again and vice versa. So everyone on screen pretty much uh, will either streams or you'll see them on streams. So definitely you can check out all the information down below. And if that's not what you were asking, then let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone's saying hello. Oh, romantic suspense and thriller. Ooh. Ooh. Honestly, it could both I think work. Worse. Yeah. It could both work. Either that. one. Because of the suspense and thriller, you can play with either one for sure. I like it. <laughs> Question mark? We get a pinky <laughs> promise. <laughs> there you go. And Diane says, I will publish one on two. So I guess the Diane Nicole Morasco will be for romance. Do you think the romantic suspense should go under Diane? The th If you're doing... Mm, 
again, they you can play with whichever you mm, because with romantic suspense, the initials work as well. Really, yeah. Well. So I mean, it depends if you just use one yeah. name for everything. Yeah, I, I think if you're gonna do depends on. Mm. So it depends on if you want to go super spicy with that romance. Um, some people, if they have super, super spicy stuff that they want to keep that separate from anything that might be more PG-13. So mm -hmm. it depends on your readership. We need to do, we just need to do a sit down video about this. No, that's good. Yeah. I think it would be. I mean, it can, it can like, be real short. I'm writing under the name I write under for everything. Yeah, no, 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 about why, he, about why <laughs> authors choose to yeah, why, yeah. even unpopular authors will change their name just because yeah. they change the genre even if it's the same age groups that are going like to be like for example the people yeah. so a lot of people not a lot of people some people know about the schwab victoria schwab she until like a year or a year and a half ago had different names her V e. schwab was for all of her adult and mature content and then victoria schwab was everything middle grade like young young YA but after pretty much everyone knowing the the, the names are the same person uh for re for more personal reasons she uh she told uh, her newsletters and her followers she chose to do just VE Schwab because that is kind of like more she feels more like a VE Schwab than a Victoria Schwab. Mm. Uh, so now everything's gonna be under VE Schwab. Nice. How about this though? Yeah. Uh, so y'all know Nora Roberts publishes also under JD Rob for her mystery, right? Mm -hmm. How about yeah. I didn't realize Nora Roberts was not her real name? That's yeah. not yeah. Oh. Yeah. So her real name is Eleanor Marie Robertson and she's from Merlin. <laughs> 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 So no, I will say no, for Diane, for Diane, if most of what you write has adult counter, whether it's spice for romance or like the themes that you decide to uh, talk about in your suspense and thrillers, uh, and you don't want to have a name, a author name too close to your own legal name, then do the letters and the last name. If you don't mind, choose the one that kind of like rolls easier for you to pronounce the people, for you to promote, because you're the one who's going to say your name a thousand and a hundred times. <laughs> like I made the conscious decision to make my life harder and everyone's life harder by choosing the Abduhar last name. And I, I, I was... I'm it's like, different. I'm going to carry this cross with me. <laughs> but I was conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice, though. And then Jack said, writing in general, once I write, I lose track of time. Yeah, um, definitely. I personally, uh, everyone can answer on screen. Personally, I try to write um, the five days a week. Um, it doesn't always happen. But when I do, I give myself like maybe two to four hours and I break them up into what we do like here, which is sprints. So I like because I do get lost in writing, too. But sometimes I need to pull out of like that moment and stretch and get some water. And especially if I'm struggling with a certain scene or character development, then I need that momentary break and then I go back in. But um, yeah. So that's writing in general for me. I don't know if anybody else. Oh, you're muted, Nia. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say that, that's how I, I am too. Even during the day when I find, when I'm done with all of my busy work, I'm that person that if I don't get my busy work done first, it's always on my mind and it keeps me from being able to concentrate. So once my busy work's done, I do set timers for myself because I'm that person that, especially when I get really into what I'm doing, I will forgo food. Yeah. If my water's not right next to me, which it always is, but if I don't have <laughs> something else to drink right next to me, I won't eat. I won't get up. I, Loki will be just staring at me in my face, like, why aren't we moving? Because I will tunnel vision right into whatever my project is. So I have to have some type of timer to at least remind me, oh, 
let's go take Loki out really quick and then get back into it or grab something to eat real quick and get back into it. So Loki yeah, is her I, adorable I, dog, by the way. Yes. <laughs> So I, I can totally lose track of time when, yes. when once, especially once you're really getting into right it. Like when that, when you're in the groove, in the zone, it like, gets dangerous. Like that. that can go like for hours. Just yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else want to answer? Or we we good. Um, I I take advantage slash need sprints. Uh, whether I put a time a, a pretty timer on the screen or use my forest app. Uh, I need to kind of like time myself because if I just give myself, okay, so you just gonna write for an hour. Um, I bet you something will caught my eye and I will spend 45 minutes of that hour doing anything but writing. <laughs> uh, so I, I have to like really focus myself on it and then I can get myself breaks. If I in the zone after the sprint, I'll just roll the timer again and keep going. But I have to have those said moments of like stopping and assessing, do I want to keep writing or do I need a break? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I can easily immerse myself rather quickly because of all the triggers that I have that I show on the video. I very much condition myself to that. So I, I don't I, I don't need time to get into the mood. Mm. I just made my playlist. Nice. nice. <laughs> you guys have anything or you're good? Get answers? Okay. <laughs> we have Sylvester who's not sprinting, just relaxing and bubble bathing. Nice. That sounds heavenly. That's that. I haven't had a good bubble bath in a very long time. I need to just relax. It's it's going to be what's tomorrow? Valentine's Day. Should yeah. be a good day to treat yourself. <laughs> and then Shan says I think it's hard to keep up uh one author platform, multiple names, multiple platforms. Oh, yes, we're done. And then I would like to use one name but my national and international best selling books are Diane Morasco. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Amy says I choose I chose my romance pen name to be an anagram of my real name, Amy. May right. ah, everything not spicy. I use my real name for nice. Okay. Yeah, don't want the family members to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use different names, but it is best for the algorithms. I don't want to tick uh, readers off or alienate any. And then yes, Nora Roberts, JD Rob is brilliant because they still go next to each other on the. Oh, I didn't know about that. I didn't think about that. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then Shannon chose my pen name because my real name is hard. Shannon is often misspelled. Houston is often misspelled. Forget adding the rest of my real name. So SD Houston was simple. Nice. And let's see. Chatting, chatting, yeah, chatting. I'm going to use my, my, my real first name. It's, ah, it's, it's always mispronounced and spelled wrong. So I'm just like, you know what? JC. That, that's simple. Y'all can't mess that up, can you? <laughs> well, you some people, some people, you can spell it out. K A Y Don't don't be me. Don't be me. All right, friends. Uh, we're going to jump into our sprint. It's Monday, so we took a little time to just kind of get. Yes, Diane. That is my real name. Yes, I yes, I saw that. I was like, I won't put it up screen. Thank you for not putting that up on screen. <laughs> I don't actually like my name, so oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Let's pop this sucker up. We've got nice little coffee background here. Mm -hmm. It's on brand. Let me oops. Let me bring the calm that down. All right, friends. So we are going to start on 30 minutes. Whatever it is you're doing for those 30 minutes, we are going to focus and try to get some stuff done. Or if you're relaxing, relax away. And we'll see you at the end of the 30. So we are sprinting, friends, in three, two, one.
Hello, friends. We are back. We are back. How was that sprint for everybody? How did you do? That 30 minutes went pretty fast for me. <laughs> Nia needs a little more time. We're going to give it to her. Uh, we had a few people who hopped on over. So we had an Eva come by and say hello. Hello, friend. We had a Margaret come by. Hello. I know. Who forgot it was Monday? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Generally, everyone yeah. kind of felt that way. So you're amongst, you're amongst oh, friends. Oh, friends. Anyway. Oh, make one. Hold on. <laughs> Did this stream yard get your stuff together? Okay. <laughs> we had a Barrett slide in. Barrett sliding in the back, smacking the like button, making some dinner. What is for dinner, Barrett? If you come back and are listening, let us know. And then Margaret says, oh, has anyone else seen the Banshees of, I am not going to attempt that word. It's a Netflix film and not what she's expected. I have not. Very interesting. We had an anarchy here. Hello. <laughs> and someone. Wait, how did I get down here? Uh, oh, it was, there was a reason for it. <laughs> I'll explain later. Okay. <laughs> And we have an anarchy here. Hello. It's for it was for a good reason, JC. It was an aesthetic reason that I needed to do because I it was anyway. <laughs> You're okay. You're in the middle of reading Morgan's book, and apparently there's a lot of emotions going on, so that's exciting. <laughs> that face right there, everyone. That face is why you need to make sure to read Morgan's book if you haven't read it yet. Oh, whoops. So there it is. <laughs> See it among the thorns. Get it. There's book well, two's already out as well. And then book I thought three I was going to be out. writing the next sprint. Success, Morgan. <laughs> That's awesome. I was very shocked by what I just read. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Everyone saying hello. And then Joanne says, just finished halfway prepping for the cake that her mom and her are making tomorrow. Very nice. Did you say what kind of cake it was? I may have missed it. If you did, let me know again. <laughs> And Amy is back and ready to write. You did it. You're all fresh, fully clean, and ready to get the words. Right. In. I'm supposed to write next spring. Well, actually, no, it's not a writing day. So technically, I'm it's not a writing. Yeah, Mondays aren't your writing day, so that could work. Victoria chatted with their brother for advice on a school thing. Started to load the dishwasher. All the adulting that's happening yes. today. Time to spring yet? Okay. <laughs> I get it. And Barrett is listening while chopping. Awesome. Chopping. What are you chopping? What are you making? Mm -hmm. What are you making? The people want to know. People yes. want to know. You know where the food channel. Come on, we we're always we always talk about food at some point or another. So everyone on screen, how was that thirty minutes for you? I was reading through um, some notes that I need to look over before writing. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um, yes. Fajitas. Ooh, fajitas. Ooh, Ooh. all of that first. Yes. Delicious. Oh, and Margaret got a takeout oh. burger that was divine. Oh, uh, the fries were kind of wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah. Kind of happens. All the peppers. And then <laughs> he was like, we ate dinner four whole hours ago. <laughs> hey. um, Aren't y'all hey. hungry before now? Uh, okay. <laughs> I have late. See, I, I have a thing where I can't eat too early or else I'll end up eating a whole nother meal before I go to bed because I go to bed so late. So now I can't mm. I can't eat that early. <laughs> yeah, I, I my yeah. meals are later in the day. I, I ate dinner like I think I finished like right 15 minutes before this stream had to start. Yeah, I, I'm a late eater as a overall thing. Yeah, I ate like 10 minutes before y'all hopped on for the stream. <laughs> yeah, we eat around five, so. Oh, you guys eat early. Because my oh, husband has 
to go to bed. He so goes early. early. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yep. he gets up at like four or five a.m. I don't know. Oh. I'm, I'm not trying to see what he gets up early. <laughs> You're like too early for my brain. <laughs> Uh, I went to meeting on the geriatric schedule. <laughs> and then she's like, it's the five-year-old schedule, okay? He's like, I okay, want that's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. I want yeah. that early bird special instead of all the work problems. Keep me from food. Oh. Mm -hmm. And how about everybody else? How did you guys do for that sprint? I didn't work on my video. I didn't. Oh, I came to my house instead because I have an infusion tomorrow. So oh, I wanted mm. to make sure the house is clean. So you can be worry free about that and just relax. Yeah. yeah. And the last time the nurse was here, he was like, This is the cleanest house I've ever been in. So I wanted to keep up my reputation. You got it. <laughs> You're like, well, now I have, I have a reputation. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Thinking that it's not true. <laughs> not no. Right. She must always keep us flawless. <laughs> That's the thing about setting a high standard for yourself. Then you have to keep it up. And then it becomes exhausting trying to keep up the high standard you set. Yeah. Because people knew me years ago before my chronic pain, they would come to my house now and be like, this is not like you. I'm like, look, I don't have the energy to clean the way I used to. It was obsessive right. when I used to do it before. I was one of those people that you couldn't move something out of a spot because I would know. You could move it literally an inch and I would know you moved it. Yeah, I, I can't do that anymore. It just takes too much energy. Yeah. Uh, I can't do that anymore either because the rest of the family needs to be able to live in peace. So <laughs> you're like, it's, just everyone's too much vanity. Oh, yeah. it's me against the rest. So I had to give, I'm like, if y'all just, just keep it clean enough, please. And, and we'll get along. I'll do the rest. That's fine. That's fine. I used to be one of those people that would clean, like literally something every day. And my friends would be like, "What are you cleaning? There's literally nothing left to clean." <laughs> yeah, they can't say that anymore, which is why they're not allowed here right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Capo is almost caught up on the typing. When uh, that's done, there's some sewing. Sewing to do. What are you sewing? <laughs> Tell us. We sew. We sew. Hold on. Do you, that's that's a very handy skill to have. So all the things, and you can move something, but don't ask me where it is if you lose it. Oh, and, oh yeah, the whole second breakfast. Breakfast that was very interesting. <laughs> and Joanne says no writing and or editing done, but I did measure the dry ingredients for the cake my mom and I are making tomorrow. That's progress. That is productive. Hey, yeah. Ma uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Just real quick, I'm going to read her comment. She says, hello, hello. I work swing shifts, so I've never been able to join your sprints, but I'm off tonight. All excited to join. Just finished the first draft of my screenplay Ooh, last what? week. Oh, nice. nice. You're right. That is amazing. Nice. Welcome. and Love it. I'm so excited you got to be here Congratulations. tonight. Congratulations. Yes, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I used to write screenplays for years. It's been a long time though. I haven't I haven't dabbled in them, but I loved I loved writing stories screenplay uh, format. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Sorry, Esther. What were you gonna say? <laughs> it's just a comment, at Margaret. And the the being like I'm here for a second breakfast and eleven season. and I'm like, so having a kid is being like a hobbit. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Yeah, because apparently you get to have second breakfast because you have a kid. <laughs> get yeah. One. Hi. Where was Eva's? Uh, yeah, because Eva's like first breakfast is between seven and eight, depending when we wake. It That was like it rhymed. Uh, second breakfast, mine is around 930. Lunch is around 1130, 12, and dinner is between four and five. Mm -hmm. And probably all the snacks between, because, you know, <laughs> kids like to, little people like to snack. Those yes. Little humans like, like to snack, to. too. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the big you know, kids well, wanted well, to. Give well, well, us well, the is acceptable <laughs> to continuously snack. <laughs> and then. Do, 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 do. Yes, when it comes to food, having kids is like having a hobbit. <laughs> it's not like being a hobbit. 
And Barrett says, y'all, I've been on that Target website looking for my kid for second breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed. <laughs> if you find one, can you FedEx? <laughs> They're just children. <laughs> I think Kiva's point is that you get to make second breakfast and second dinners, not eat twice. Well, you know, I mean, like, I mean, it's it's thing, you know, <laughs> like you know how many meals my mom had to finish for me when I was young. I was like, trust me, mm -hmm. the kid is gonna leave something behind that you're gonna have to finish. Just, oh, yeah. Do not want. Oh gosh, no. you're too freaking funny. <laughs> um, I have a question for today. It oh. is. Yeah. Because I was inspired. So I, do you play an instrument? If so, which one? And if not, which would you like to learn if you could? So can I get an elaboration? Yeah. Do, are you mean currently or do we know how as in were we trained ever in playing an instrument, but maybe no longer play? I just I need. Yeah, like that counts. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that counts. Okay. Because you can play the instrument, you just haven't played it in a while. Play the clarinet. Ooh, you play clarinet. I did for, for several years. Oh, that is awesome. I Oh, I like that. I'm picturing you playing the clarinet. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough breath to play the flute, which is the instrument I really wanted to play. But <laughs> oh, you I'm have to have more breath at all. for a flute <laughs> and a clarinet? Huh? You have to have more breath work for a flute than a yes. uh, yeah. yeah, the way you position your mouth makes mm -hmm. all the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very mm -hmm. much so. All the yeah. you have to force all the air in with the clarinet. You're forcing air into a little tiny. Yeah, and since your mouth is over it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Your mouth on the flute just is on top of it, so you have to like really direct your air in that hole. Yeah. Interesting. That's why I didn't join band. <laughs> uh, I, this is this is probably gonna surprise a lot of people. I used to play the trombone. Hmm. That doesn't surprise me. I knew this. So. I didn't from, know this. Yeah, from the fourth grade all the way to my first year of university. That's, that's a long time. That's a long time. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I play bands. I play marching bands. I play salsa, merengue. I play like orchestra style of things. Like, I play it a lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, way too much. Yeah. I, I, I too played a lot. Um, so I was trained in trumpet and I played from fifth grade to call through through college and i from there learned how to play french horn i could play um baritone and other similar like instruments um and i also play <laughs> bass guitar drum and keyboard dude <laughs> not well i'm not trained in them i'm not trained in them but i could play them fairly but that's even better if you could play them and you weren't trained so you talked really? to yourself. I, I, on I, 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 was in a, I, I was in a band and um, yeah. I, didn't, I still have all of my, I still have all of my instruments. Um, the drum set is put up. Uh, and I also have a guitar, but I never oh, learned how to play drummer. as hard as. I can see it. I can see Nia the drummer. Mm. Huh. <laughs> I was mediocre at best, but it worked. <laughs> No, I don't have my instruments. I sold my trombone to um one of the teens in my church. Uh, he already was knitting because mine had the trigger. So when trombones have a trigger, you don't you can substitute the like the later positions on the earlier ones. So you don't have to like continuously stretch your arm. And I didn't have long arms. So a lot of the positions I would just like throw the bar and hope to catch it. <laughs> uh, so I sold it to him because he was already like upgrading 
his mm. instrument. Yeah, that would be cool. A, a musical reel. Musical so, reel? Like, yeah, <laughs> she's she's like, no. Her own band. No. So Nia really could have made and produced her own album because I've heard her sing, so she also has singing chops. Um, <laughs> you can literally like play the, the instrument well. individually and then come into the recording studio and sync it all up together. You literally could put together your own album. I'm just saying. You're a one woman <laughs> band. Nope. I haven't played any of them. I haven't really played any of them in years, but I do, do you like ever really the forget how to play. No, I guess you don't I'm because like, you, when the kids to brush come, up when the kids have friends play. come over and we I leave my keyboard out because I want to hear kids play when they come over. And if you leave it out in the hallway, inevitably they will play. And there are yeah. some my kids have some very talented friends who are like and so I, it's just one of the things I just love having it in the hallway where they're going to walk by and it's like a magnet. They're like, ah. <laughs> like yes. it's this a little, Eva's like, tell me you're a gifted child without telling me you're a gifted child. Nia shows I my friend, <laughs> 18 instruments, speaking five languages, yoging, showing off her books and comics. That's and along the line dancing, of, uh, and paints that's literal along masterpieces. Prince, isn't it? Because Prince knew how to play almost every instrument. Mm. Who? Prince. Oh, oh really? That's along the lines of Prince. Excuse me. Oh, I'm cool. in the presence of of this <laughs> we musical are. genius. We, <laughs> are. we had no yeah. idea. No. I mean, technically, if you know how to play like a section, like for example, it's easier for Nia to play any brass instrument because she trained yeah. in trumpet yeah. and um, what was the other one? I trained in trumpet, but while we were in band, if they needed someone to play a French horn or a baritone, I could play them. Yeah. So she could just keep uh, playing pretty much all the brass. Mm -hmm. And since she learned uh, bass and all that, then she can pick strings. Like she probably just need to learn like a saxophone or a clarinet to get all the wings. Oh. Mm -mm. Really the, 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 the thing was when I learned because I was self-taught sort of self-taught I had some fr like friends helping me learn uh, mm -hmm. learn the bass and the guitar and the keyboard I'm very strong with one hand like I can do all of the things and this hand's like holding a chord boom <laughs> like, because this is my trumpet playing hand I'm used to yeah I, and this one is like lazy it's like one, two, three. Okay, there's the chord. <laughs> but I can do it. Lift. <laughs> yeah, and how I always have me. to look. With this hand, I have to look. Like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> it keeps me yeah. holding. So I didn't say I was good. I was good enough that the band did well. If I, I never played a lead, except for the drums. But even that was kind of so like... Cool. No, yeah. don't it, talk it's funny no. <laughs> I, I, I think my last two years in music school, they ask you to like take, um, and like, it, it's a class where you have to learn if you haven't learned it before piano, and that's where you have to like learn like by sound every single note, mm -hmm. and I was like. No, like my two hands will never coordinate to do do different things. They do the same thing or they do nothing at all. <laughs> like that's that's not happening. And uh, one of the the professors was my music director in church. She's like, it, it's fine. I'll teach you. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm telling you. Not even with all your years of experience, you're going to be able to make this hands do two things at a time. <laughs> and that ain't happened. <laughs> you, you sound like my friends trying to, when they taught me to play the bass guitar, why I never switched to regular guitar. Um, I Because I literally felt like I had to look to see to hold the chord the strumming i'm like why couldn't it be the other way around they're like well you could get a left i'm like oh, yeah. i know because i'm a lefty like i play guitar i play acoustic guitar and i'm a lefty but i learned as a righty hi lefty oh hi <laughs> where are you you're a lefty too of course i didn't know that <laughs> how did i not notice this you don't 
see her blogs? You don't see what I her know. blogs? She does I not don't. ask her. She doesn't yes, watch I, her videos. Woman, <laughs> yes, I do. I just don't. I mean, <laughs> slip my mind. I'm sorry. Let me clarify. She doesn't actually pay attention. Let's clarify further. The stalker is me. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have Stop set a high standard. Observe and true. pay attention to your You set a high standard for everyone. <laughs> Anyways, no, when I'm I watching, I'm not saying when I'm watching someone's vlog, if I'm doing other stuff, it's certain things will stand out, and I'll be like, Oh, that's interesting. The rest of it, I'm just listening. And if you bring it up again, I'll be like, Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Although, in my videos that I'm left handed. Um, I have actually been so, so the way that I realize that I'm like, I'm looking at her video. And I'm, like, where is her mouse? I don't see her mouse. The and then there's a moment that she it's moves her hand and then I see the mouse on the other side. I'm like, oh. wait, you use your mouse oh, with your I left hand? about the brace yeah. that I had to buy. I talked about having to buy one for a left hand. <laughs> See, that's I. I was forced. I to wouldn't catch right that either because I, So I, I'm like, I do think with my right attention. hand. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Esther pays attention. Esther observes. <laughs> my lantern. Esther, send us Cliff Notes. Right now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Look, Esther Casey's needs a lefty. Esther, Esther need to write a Cliff Notes. Casey. <laughs> My goodness, my fajitas got me crying while chopping, and then JC threw that shade. <laughs> I, I, did I? Did I know? Or did I just acknowledge a truth? Uh, uh, I love these more obsessed with anything <laughs> being left handed. I swear most I can tell you every single celebrity no. that is left handed. Most, most creative people are left handed, though. It's most, true. Yeah. Not or, all. Or, I would say most left handed people are creative. Mm. Okay, whichever way you yeah. want to phrase it. Well, because it's because there's a lot of right-handed creative people, but most left-handed people are most definitely creative. People. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's not talk about right-handed people, okay? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not creative. Creative. I'm sorry. I'm I can use both right of them. I'm ambidextrous technically. <laughs> no, like, my is too. They, right I feel right like hand, but... I feel like they used to not want to let kids be uh, left-handed if they were left-handed. So I think yeah, they, my, they always told us everything to was a dominant hand. They told us we needed to use a dominant hand. They made but me use right-handed scissors. My, they my made right me... hand. My right hand is a is a mess anyway, so it's it's yeah. better. So my way. my my <laughs> older my older one of my my older kids are ambidextrous because of that, and I'm like, you're left handed. Go ahead and be left handed. Have that night. Get your handwriting in order, because I'm like, Barrett. That is not what I'm. Left handed people be left handed. Leave them alone. Barrett, right with whatever you want. Barrett's a pretty pretty right handed in now. I'm not great. That's not. <laughs> I just, <laughs> these you know, ladies are gonna come for you. I mean, I'm sorry. I never said all. I said most. The emphasis on most. You don't fall in the most category. I mean, I said, oh, don't be coming for me. Damn, the textures. Nice. I said most, not all. There was a time I had to be because I broke my left arm when I was little, and I was in third grade. And back then, third grade, you actually did cursive. They mm -hmm. taught you cursive. So I had to actually do my assignments with my right hand. So I learned a little bit to function. And I have to say, look at her headline. What's her headline say? I don't know what her headline says. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh wait. I, wait. Hold on. I got it. Or... Yep. There we go. Oh, oh, and, then the, and then the question. <laughs> and then I have to <laughs> because I can't see. She's standing for all the right handed people. <laughs> I did not say, did anyone we hear me use, did anyone hear me use the word all? I did not say all. I even wave my right oh, hand. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, apparently my grandma would write with one hand Our on the exam. board and the other on paper. She was a teacher. Oh. oh that's Just, justice for right-handed <laughs> creatives. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was waiting for that. 
oh, I use my left hand, but my mom kept stopping me. They tried to keep stopping me at school, especially because when I was little, I the paper would be turned paper. almost upside down. And hitting the other kids. So they would force my paper mm -hmm. back around and and I it was it was a whole thing. <laughs> and then the left-handed kids had to write all upside down. I'm like, Yes. Oh. That's like, why a lot of left-handed people do write that. Like way. a spiral notebook. I was and never like made to write upside yeah. down. What kind of school did y'all go to? I was oh, never were made to write upside yes. down. Did you turn your paper around were... like, too much to write left-handed? No, 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 I know a lot of left-handed like, people who everyone else's. turn their hand around like this and write. I'm I'm happy for you, JC, but I'm I'm <laughs> not I'm not nice things happening to left-handed people. I'm like, why do you have to write upside down like that? And then they have to all Paper. Like, yeah, left, my my poor lefty kids had it rough. Oh, yeah, like, poor, 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 poor oh Barrett, has it really been that long since you've been on a stream with us? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you had the headlines. It is on Saturday. Saturday? No, I missed. Okay, the, I missed great. karaoke. Great. So did you? Did you guys not use them I on Saturday? Like did did I think you did. No, you I did. Because he had a headline. I forgot what it was, oh, but he had one. Maybe yeah, he it was like something like your lovey muffin or something like that. That's hilarious. I don't know. That's hilarious. That made me stalk you, man. Wait, no, I think that was just his name, that he just changed oh. his name to that. Oh. I don't think he used Robert the headline. says they didn't use headlines. Did not use headlines. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, Margaret, okay. did you enable the headlines? I left author two for a month, and now we get headlines. Or is that <laughs> left, left these two? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he loves the headlines. The headlines are too much fun. We can definitely. I mean, the headlines are like the the copy of your statuses on Messenger or ICQ or whatever message uh, status system we used to have. Back, Back in the old days. <laughs> Amy's an upside down writer. I love it. Essie's right handed, but when I'm opening jars and bottles, oh, I hold with my right and twist with my left. Not Barrett throwing shade at me, though. Oh, Ooh, oh hold on. I got to see. Barrett said JC would know that if she would know that if she would. JC was. Oh. Nursing sore throats and enjoying her weekend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you could have enjoyed your weekend doing karaoke. <laughs> um, nursing a sore throat. Did you miss that? Part? Oh, I didn't hear that part. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did. You did. You did. And no, I was watching. I was watching some screen movies, so no, I was not watching our security. I'm so sorry. I've learned that JC's experiences when it comes to school seem to differ so much from ours. I feel like our schools cared about the kids more. Maybe. I know. Honestly. No, I'm considering I'm like, where are the teachers? amount of money my mother paid for tuition, they should they better have cared. Uh, <laughs> oh. I went to school on military. I went to public school and military school. Oh, well, then I don't know. I don't know what that is. Your school should be better than mine. Nope. I'm not listening to you, Bernard. You know, he said you do love you too. Of course. All right. Well, I will get to everyone's answers after the, because we went on a bit of a tangent there with left hand, left hand, the people. Hurrah. Um, so let's do another 30 minute sprint. Get some slight stuff. advertising here. Some slight advertising. Sorry. Yeah, I love it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that beautiful book right there. Look at that beautiful book. So good. Love it. All right, friends, we are going to do our 30 minutes again in three, two, one, sprint. Or read.
and we are back. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Oh, look, we just came in just in time. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> you popped in just as we got back. How did everyone do for that sprint? It that one was that one felt a little longer to me. <laughs> the first one felt really quick, but it's because I fin for me I finished uh, reading the notes I got from the ghostwriter, so I just need to contact them about a few things before I start outlining the story. So I got to do that. How was it for you all? It was good for me. I got some more work done in my world building. And uh, so, yeah, it was fun. It was, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it. So which that's is good. always good. Yes. When you have that feeling. Yeah. How about you, Esther? No, you're still no. working. <laughs> it was good. I got cuddles with the puppy and I got 567 words. Cuddles and words. Nice. Nicely done. I edited the uh, some of this video. It's thirty eight minutes long. It was fifty, so you got it. <laughs> okay, the, the first the first round always cuts in. Then you gotta go in a couple more rounds. You yeah. can't leave the fifty. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. I left it fifty. I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just I just read. Nice. Anyway, I got distracted by something on the news for a little bit of that, but yeah, I just read, we are getting another sprint, right? I have more reading. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm back on Emerton now, so. Nice, <laughs> nice. Ooh, Amy wrote 756 words, very mm -hmm. nice. Margaret, I'm watching um, watching down my WL list. and Watch list, I'm ah. assuming YouTube watch list. The got it mm -hmm. and settling uh back to my re into my responsibilities. Wow, well, maybe not YouTube, could be a Netflix watch list. I don't know, just oh, watch list. That's true, it was just a watch list, could be any very true. Cuddles and Words sounds like a sweet romance <laughs> title. I like right. It. Ooh. <laughs> Cuddles and Words. Oh, a romance words. writer meets, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, or a groomer. Ah, yeah, there you go. Oh, or a yes. dog sitter. So, so many. <laughs> I'm here for it. Joanne got 68 words written, writing a scene where Lydia questions Xavier about the actions he did towards her bakery, and Xavier's not dealing with it well. His anxiety is not having it. Oh, poor Xavier. Mm -hmm. And then luckily he has a good uh, poker list or thinks he has a, oh, poker face. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it's it's YouTube, but that would be sneaky, JC. <laughs> and the list of stuff on Netflix is a watch list, technically. This is true. True, true. Victoria started cooking dinner and watched JC's video in a video about fantasy world building. <laughs> Too nice. Oh, I right, hear Anna's comment. <laughs> and was like, oh my god! At first, I was like a groomer. No, but the letter, like, <laughs> not the no, 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 no. Why did I choke? Oh my god! god. Me. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, oh. unless you're writing a not so non fiction story about oh my gosh, not a romance. Yeah. <laughs> no, not uh, if, you're, if you're writing a very dark romance, yeah. maybe, but or a dystopian, no. dystopian. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, there are ways it could go, yes. That choked me. Yeah, oh, that was good. <laughs> well, I just watch later. Uh huh. Also, how many more spirits I left? Just one more. One more. Oh. Mm -hmm. Watch later. Watch list. Semantics. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, I feel relaxed decorating my planner with my stickers. Yay. I love that. It's been yes. a blessing to happen. Thank you, Lays. Thank you, Moonwriters. You're welcome. Oh, I love, oh, yes, a good uh, just planning session. Beth has stickers. her own little fan club, Moonwriters. <laughs> we are. We're in the moon right, right by the moon. And that, okay, yeah, I got to the end. Awesome. So, 
Everyone else, what did you guys do on screen? Oh, no, we already said that. <laughs> I promise I've got my life together. Um, no, I, I, I did that. <laughs> yes. Sorry, advertising. Sorry. Luis is like, you know that thing when you just lose all perspective on a project? Uh, this could be the best thing I've ever written. Could be the worst. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's when it. you get... That's when you get a critique partner or a better reader to read it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. point, get, that's true. get other eyes on it. The worst. Yep. At some at some stage of the writing, it's usually the worst. And then it gets, you know, oh, this is the best thing I've ever written, you know. Mm -hmm. Go through stages. Yeah. And it, again, <laughs> it helps to get other eyes on it just in case because you're seeing it in a certain light right now mm -hmm. and you need a, the outside perspective it, to yeah. see if it is the best thing or if it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> or somewhere in between. Or somewhere in between. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, there's a middle ground there somewhere, right? Like... Yeah, you are either too close or your imposter syndrome is too loud. Yeah. Very nice, Esther. Because I just sent Shannon some chapters and I was like, these are the worst chapters I ever wrote. Like, these are awful. And she. <laughs> messaged me back she's like these are great what are you talking about? that usually is what happens when we think it's the we worst, our own worst critics we are and then we get the uh, we get feedback outside feedback and it's yeah. usually not nearly as bad as we oh think. okay <laughs> sure. like, oh <laughs> not bad okay just kidding <laughs> good uh, all right so I'm going to quickly go over before our next sprint the answers to the question, and then we will have our last sprint of the night. There are a lot of instrument players here. There was uh, Eva played the trombone in middle school. Poverty stopped her. I can't play it now. I'm sorry about that. And then Anna said, I used to play clarinet pretty seriously, but haven't played in a few years. I'm currently learning ukulele. My dad I love that. My daughter's learning that one. It's a good one. I like that. I love the ukulele. It's such a pretty mm -hmm. sound. Uh, my first is my instrument. I remember some piano. I played the cello when I was 12. Ooh, cello. I'm learning the cello. It's so pretty. I love the cello. I know. It's my favorite. Uh, and Nick played I electric bass for years? Ooh. Dude. What? That is so cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Victoria said for the flute, most of the air goes. Oh, yeah, I'm not inside the flute. <laughs> yes. And then Amy said, I learned piano as a kid, but after I learned to play the Star Wars theme and Under the Sea, <laughs> Little Mermaid, oh, I was just like, I've peaked. I can't quit now. <laughs> that is awesome. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Mastered I feel it. like everybody has that song that they learned where they're like, this is it. I learned I Bare have... Necessities on the piano, and then I was like, this is good. Like, are you serious? serious? Yeah. That's all I could ever manage on the piano was Mary Had a Little Lamb. And like, <laughs> That's amazing. I love that so much. Right? I swear. Uh, just, I mean, the most that I can do on the piano oh is like this. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the most that I can do on the piano. Oh, chopsticks. Uh, chopsticks, chopsticks, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I can do that, too. I can do that. Uh, Joanne played the piano one, uh, plays the piano once uh, every once in a while, had piano lessons until high school. Very nice. And Eva can translate music and then play what? simple songs on piano. That is impressive. Even if it's, even Very though you're saying it skill. slowly, that, I mean, that's impressive. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, honestly, like, you can listen and you can write it down, says Eva, or, like, you can kind of, like, see the uh, the music sheet and translate it on chords for, like, keyboard mm. and I can I can hear it and translate it. Um, yeah. I can hear it and play it. I can't translate it. Hold up. Hold up. Nia. No. I have not okay. done any of this for years. I'm, I'm, I'm so <laughs> old, but I have not done any of this for years. I cannot do this stuff anymore. You, well, I you have haven't tried. It comes back to you. I have such cool friends. It part. comes back to you. <laughs> That's awesome. No, the one that comes back, honestly, is the trumpet. And I think it's because I played it for so long. It's the thing I thought would be the hardest to come back. And it's the one, like, even when I, even when I get on the keyboard, even though it's there, when I play, I, I always start out like, because uh, I never was trained in it. I just kind of like 
picked it up. Bass guitar is also like, I'm like, what is this again? Like, I know, I know what it is, but it's, it's, if you play instruments, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Something because just you can, but I don't know if I can pick up trombone again because I, I forgot how to read music. I mean, I, I know what each symbol means and all that, but since I only learned uh, the um, fa, uh, like tone for trombones, I don't know, like the normal, uh, mm. other thing, whatever. I I know my I mean I know my music turns in Spanish. Sorry, uh, <laughs> so I don't think I'll be able to pick it up because I I won't be able to read music because I forgot all about that. Mm. I mean, I could take a day or two to relearn it, but that's it just a day or two is all you need you got this that's awesome though if it'll just take you a day or two that's not bad <laughs> for it to come oh yeah back. probably i mean um, reading music was not the hardest thing for me for mm. me just me yeah <laughs> i can i can only do chord progressions that's pretty much for guitar and then victoria says i played flute oh wait Cat Paul said, I played piano and flute. I don't remember how now. I'd like to be able to play guitar. It's so much fun. And then Victoria says, I played flute for three years in middle school and one year in high school. I liked it in middle school, but I would not recommend marching band. Tiffany plays, I play piano and clarinet and a bit on sax and drums. Wow. I'm telling you, we can have a whole author two band. Yeah. <laughs> I was in marching band all the way through college. I like the rest of college could suck it but marching band was amazing in my mid-20s i had done like i had joined a band it didn't last long but we were a band for a little bit same and louisa we were like oh my god please burn them <laughs> you know, they always say i could play songs on the bass but couldn't actually play that's hilarious yeah, I was rusty on the guitar when I joined this band. It was also kind of like a rock band. <laughs> was, did we all do this when we were in our 20s? Did we all do this? Apparently. No, no, I'm well, like, well, You know music. Here, play this instrument. Yeah. I've never played this instrument yeah. before in my life. Dude, I got to follow me? along. Sure, I'll help you. <laughs> and you literally just learn the songs that you're playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to be like actually carry a lot, like listen and be able to keep up with when the chord progression yeah. moves and changes and yeah, all that stuff. Diane says, My voice is my instrument. And I played yeah, the yeah. cello when I was 12. Oh, Very nice. I love the cello. Yeah, we have singers here. We actually, everyone on screen except for me, I can carry a cello. I was about to say, don't, I'm not a singer. don't let laugh. Yeah, I can I carry can a tune, a but I'm not a singer. Not a singer. <laughs> if you can carry a tune, you can be a singer. I when I I oh, no, I've lost there are a lot of who can't carry a tune. So <laughs> did it get, I haven't used did, it. did musicals? Yes. I was yeah, say, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> but I was like ensemble. I wasn't a lead or anything. Oh, yeah. you have <laughs> to be decently good. I, I feel like I have a better musical singing voice than regular song singing voice. And if you anyone who's done musicals, you know that voice, that, yes. that singing voice. Yeah. That, that it's got a more like more like, happier, happier. Like you said, totally. yeah. you have talent and capability to sing. Yeah, so. and a lot of musicals, uh, you have to be able to not only sing, but like sing talk. And not everyone can do that. Yeah, I'm right. horrible at sing talking. Like, no, I I've been in like choirs, uh, in so many different ensembles, but everything is like more on the singing, sing, mm. sing thing instead of musicals. And the musical that I did was very like music specific. Like when we were talking, we were talking, we were singing, we were singing. That's it. Mm -hmm. mm. And then let's see, Margaret, just basic piano and voice for me, but I would love to learn the what pipes? You, you, William, William, William pipes? Yeah, no idea, I'm the haunting ones you hear on Riverdale? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Really? I'm trying to see if I can remember what that sounds like. That 
<laughs> I need not pronounce that. <laughs> oh, Kappa left her guitar in the UK at music college. I only sang after the last three years. I don't have the breath to sing anymore and I miss it. I've lost a lot of breath control for Same. sure. Same. I've lost so much breath control. It's not even funny. Hey, um, Michael plays the piano. Yeah. The pipes that um, uh, Margaret mentioned are like the ones we see uh, Scottish people play. Like bagpipes? Oh, oh those are, really? those are, those are talking about something different. Because those aren't haunting. Well, yeah, they're, they're not bagpipes, now. but yeah. Oh, they they are in that similar thing. They do have that that bag and the right. pipes and all that. Very interesting. <laughs> you all are too bad for the wind. Oh, where's I mean, we can include all of you guys too because there's a lot of talent in the chat. Mm -hmm. Kalimba and ukulele. What's kalimba? Yeah, I was gonna say I know what you. I look bad at you. I don't know what that is. Oh, very <laughs> cool. Though. I don't know if that counts for anything, but it's therapeutic. Yes, it counts. <laughs> I used to play acoustic guitar since middle school. Hi, John. Good to see you. Thanks for, for popping into the chat. Yes, I play acoustic guitar, but I am a novice. I can do basic chord progressions, but I cannot do bar co chords. Yeah. Those, my fingers just never cooperated <laughs> to put the strength for bar codes and co chords can't even say it. <laughs> oh, and really quick, um, Anna, no, I don't have perfect pitch because I can't hear it and know that this is a C, this is an A flat. If I hear it, I will hit the key on the keyboard and then I can translate the song that way. Like I can just do it, mm -hmm. but I can't, I'm not one of those people. There are people who can just hear it and they'll say, this is, this, this is a note, half note coordinate that, you know, and mm -hmm. it's a C, C whole note, get it, you know, just by hearing it, I have yeah. to hear it. And then I have to hit I'm it on the keyboard, but I can do it. <laughs> Which is still freaking impressive. <laughs> And then the Hubers, the Hubers of, of being in your early 20s to be in a band. For real. Seriously, yes. what possessed me to think at that age? I was like, yes, let's totally do this. I was like, girls, let's be in a band, but let's not play to a soundtrack. Let's just do the music ourselves. They're like, yeah. What about the Hubers of totally being that. in the singing group knowing you have stage fright? Oh man! Okay, no. well, this is this I is why I said like this is why I learned how to play all the instruments because they're like yeah and you can sing and I was like oh what if I played <laughs> the drums way in the back just away from everyone else oh yeah I like I love music but I did not want to be on stage I don't know how I thought this was gonna work but <laughs> it's hilarious and then oh. they still gave me a mic. Not oh, not well, but they you gave me a headset. headset. They gave oh, me a headset. Oh, yeah, yes. So I could still sing. Oh, yeah. I was like, absolutely. I, I, I wanted to be in the back. Oh, on the keyboard, still singing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, and I'm so sorry about that, Rachel. Pneumonia scarred up her vocal cords. Oh, that's rough. Um, I can no, carry I'm, a I'm to get TMI, TMI with. <laughs> Wait, like what? I had, I had a band nickname like the sound people because I wouldn't sing very loud. So if you know about soundboards, you have to go, um, you're supposed to be able to sing and the sound people have you at zero. Then you go negative. If you're like for really loud people, they put them on negative for for people that sing very quietly. And so I would sing so quietly. They gave me a po positive six with my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, would you just sing? I like, can't hear you. <laughs> My theater days made me very projective. I would project yeah, I, very loudly. I think I was uh, on bad days, like negative three or four. If I was like in a room, like my voice was really good and I was like feeling it. I They were like, they would be like testing me from the sound. They would be like, can you just lower your voice or just put the microphone like very far, far away here <laughs> like move the microphone away so we eat them. the mic as, like, singers. So as singers we all eat the yeah, mic, the, eating the mic. We all yeah. eat the mic. <laughs> i love it 
Hello, John. I'm doing well. And writing, right now I'm in the editing phase of one of my first drafts and doing currently a ghost writing gig. So those are my current writing projects. What are you guys, how's your writing going, everybody? Um, better than January. January was <laughs> January, I didn't get much writing done. I'm getting a lot more done, but I'm doing writing and world building, which I feel like is cheating because I can world build all day long. It's it's like not it's not hard. Yeah. It's like now put the novel together. Oh, do I have to? <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, it got let's settle with good. I finished episode twenty seven, so let's. Let's not ask more for Monday. Like that's good. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, <laughs> Morgan, how's there. writing going? <laughs> uh, it's going pretty good. I have, I think, forty-two thousand words in my third book so far. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's awesome. Good. Yay! It's coming along. Mm -hmm. JC, how's writing going in general? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. All right. It's okay. That works too. And then Victor is like me now at 19. Mm, how do I start a band? <laughs> It'll yeah. hit you for it, sure. It's going to hit you. It's going to hit you. You're going to see an instrument and you'll be like, I, I, I can do that. You're going to pick it up. You're going to hear your friends are like, oh, I can do that. And I can do that. And then next thing you know, let's start a band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye, Victoria. Bye, Victoria. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to do our last sprint of the evening. Whoops. Okay, there we go. And. I'm laughing at Rachel's comment. Oh, it's Rachel. I'm going in general. I'm going to panic. I'm going to panic. I'm not going to panic. I'm just trying to. All right, here we go, friends. Our last spring in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> and three, two, one, and sprint.
And that was the last sprint of tonight. How did everyone do? How was that for you? Let us know. Let us know. How about you lovely people on screen? How was that for you? I got a little more admin work done that sprint. So that's what I did. Um, uh, I got quite a bit done. I'm, I should total up my words because um, I did some backstory writing, which is just a lot of fun. So that's good stream. Yay. Oh, okay. For Monday. I know. I came in thinking, oh, this is going to be a train wreck. <laughs> But you got stuff done. I did. Nice. How about you, Anne? I read. I was reading. Ooh, what are you reading? I am body reading with Shannon. Uh, God, I don't want to butcher the name. It's not complicated, but it's not coming to me. <laughs> uh, Culinary Confessions by uh, Joanne LeBeau. Oh, yeah, yes. that's awesome. I'm body reading that. That so is so I just, fun. Awesome. I only have like 84 pages left. Mm -hmm. I'm halfway through the book, so. Are you guys going to do a discussion on that one? Yeah, I need to set up the live. I think it's going to be on the 26th. Okay. Mm, very exciting. I usually don't Great. say when I read other author tubers books, but I think I already told some. I it slips out when I do. So I, but I try to be like. It's hard to talk about it. Uh, so it, it's so far is cute. It's cute. Mm, yay! How about you, Morgan? Uh, I worked on editing this video some more, but I ended up adding more clips from Jamie Perry. <laughs> it's longer so, again. Yeah, so it's just gonna be long. We like long too. Oh, yeah, I know JC's a fan of super long. She's like, bring it on. <laughs> and JC, you kept reading? Uh yeah, in between that and watching the news. Gotcha. Nice, nice. So that was good. And what do we have? Tiffany, I'm not sure what I did for the sprint, but I'm at whoa, 2871 for the day. Very nice. Nice work oh, today. You, you got some words today, friend. I like it. And then Joanne says 371 words written. Very nice. Lydia's having a field day with questioning Xavier. Bad for Xavier, though. <laughs> and then Diane said, I had a blast. Thank you for the terrific evening, ladies. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Night. Good night, uh, Diane. Evening. Hope you have a good rest of your night and you sleep well. Joanne says, also, I'm currently trying to raise money to commission an artist to illustrate a scene featuring my characters from Project Sugar and Spice. So if anyone is interested in contributing to the fun, there is her Kofi. So definitely you guys can check that out and help her out and maybe give her a little coffee here and there. Mm -hmm. Amy wrote a total of 1,443 words. You, dude, you, you came in like later and you were like, oh, I'm going to then... Yep. And look at what you did in just three sprints because the first one you were actually, I think, taking care of like self care stuff. So, oh, very nice. That, that pinky promise really worked. <laughs> yeah, it it it, like, put fire like, on her butt. And like, I said I was going to do something. So, so here I'm we go. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. He is. Have a good night, friend. All righty. Yeah. Well, that is the end of our stream. We have made it. We survived Monday. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because it was it's been it was a rough one. Anyway, I hope you all have fun. Remember that tomorrow Nia streams. Oh. Yeah, Nia streams uh, at 7 p.m. I love how she said, oh, like you didn't know she was. Uh, 1 p.m., which I need to remember because I me there. Uh, Esther's on Esther's channel. We they're streaming the romance writers room. So 1 p.m. If you write romance, if you write romantic subplots, if you put any dash of romance in any of your stories and you'd like to come and chat about it, 
come on over and it's going to be a lot of fun and it's on esther's stream her information is down below we are doing outros sorry you're not getting out of it oh i thought <laughs> we were getting out of it oh, That's what I, was I was just reminding everyone they can go to your stream tomorrow so yes. then wednesday we have oh but you just did her outro for her <laughs> her whole outro that's just one little piece <laughs> so let's kick it off with Nia. <laughs> All right. So yes, I'll be here tomorrow night. So link is below. Also on Sunday, we'll be scripting a book. It's going to be doing hidden figures. Um, so we're looking forward to doing that. And if you're interested in Artemis Fowl, Bullet Train, Crazy Rich Asians, Game of Thrones, um, Howl's Moving Castle. These are all the things that are coming up in the coming months. So scripting the book, we have a lot of fun. And at the end of the month, Author Tubers React, where does and Esther are two of the co-hosts for that. So come hang out at the end of the month. Check out my channel, link below. Yeah, and I write stuff. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and tomorrow on Esther's channel. <laughs> yes, so um, Esther Maria Duhar, Correga Writer, Wiring to be a hybrid author, you know, the, the brand. Uh, yes, we're romancing the street <laughs> tomorrow, Valentine's Day at 1 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be the first live of uh, Romance Writers Room, which is a spin off of the Writers Room, uh, hosted by Morgan Lee, Tiffany Russell, and Barrett Laurie. Uh, I write things, I sometimes do videos. You know, just just check Sometimes. the links. Every everything is on my link tree. Like everything you ever will ever <laughs> need from me is there. Morgan. <laughs> Hello, my name is Morgan Lee. I am an indie author. I have two books currently out right now. The first two in a dark fantasy trilogy, Seed Among the Thorns and Seed Among the Rocks. I stream every other Monday on my channel and I post videos occasionally. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's the author of this. Okay. Hi, I'm author. Hi, I'm author JC. You interrupted me. You I, was, I was getting ready to go, and then she. <sighs> I'm JC. I do things. I write stuff. <laughs> I post videos. I stream on Wednesdays from seven to nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um. Yeah, that's me. No, you her, her, her third poetry her 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 book just came out. Get her poetry <laughs> collection. If you buy the physical book, you get uh, bonus additional content. bonus content that is not available anywhere at all. So, yeah, I'm sure that. Des has the links somewhere. And if they're not on Des's uh, description box, oh, it is God. on JC's oh, wow. description box. Mm hmm. All righty, friends. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for just handling this Monday of craziness that whatever came out of it. Yeah, you're here and we like you here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. So thank hey, you. Your outro. That's not your outro. That's what oh. I said that. I'm sorry. The host, the host never really does an outro, but yes, they I do. me it does it all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. else does. does. <laughs> Round it up. Round All it right, up. friends. I am Desiree. You can be <laughs> here on my channel, Coffee Reading Writing, where I post weekly videos on Wednesdays. I stream every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I am Desiree M. Ortega on social media. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with us today. We will see you again very soon. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.